the magnet test reveals a lot about an armored vehicle because pretty much nine times out of ten, if it's not magnetic, it's aluminum, which means lighter armor. And of course, the differences between like RHA or something. So this is the CCVL, and uh, I'm at the National Museum of Military Vehicles in Wyoming. We just happen to have this, and uh, I know that the base hull and gun is either aluminum or some sort of composite or some other material that's not magnetic. And uh, that's why I'm doing this magnet test, because some, there is some portions that are magnetic. So, um, let's test it and see if that's true or not. Because I'm pretty sure it is. It's magnetic. Magnetic. That is. And what do you know? The base hole isn't, like I said. The muzzle brake is. The uh, laser radiation thing is not here, but is here. And of course, this isn't. The entire gun isn't, except for the muzzle brake. That's magnetic, but this is also magnetic, but this is not. This isn't either. This, these hinges are. This is not magnetic. Hash lever is. This opening is not, except for the uh, bolts and the nuts. This is not. So the entire base hole is not, but the hatches are. Side skirt is magnetic. This entire side hole is not magnetic except for the um, add on armor. Let's check the back here. Not magnetic. Not magnetic. Not magnetic. This is magnetic. Rubber, that's rubber here. Not magnetic here. That's magnetic. See the toe hitch? Magnetic. Magnetic. Not magnetic. Nuts are. Not magnetic. Side armor is magnetic. Let's check the uh, drive sprocket. Drive sprocket's magnetic. Tracks are magnetic. The wheels are magnetic, except for the hub. Yep, the wheels are magnetic except for the hub. Yep, this side is. But I believe this is just the grip tape, or the grip. The grip's magnetic, as you can see. But what it's bolted to is not. And the turret isn't either, which we'll get to. It's magnetic, not magnetic. But those aren't magnetic. Magnetic, magnetic. <sighs> now, um, testing the turret. There. Magnet goes there. <sighs> Let's 
see. So the hatch, of course, magnetic. This is magnetic, this plate, but this section of the gun is not. This is magnetic. Yeah, this entire plate is magnetic here. Except, no, this is magnetic too, magnetic. So that's entirely magnetic. The uh, add-on armor is as well. This eye is not. This turret is not magnetic. Nuts magnetic. That's magnetic, of course. Smoke is actually not magnetic. Smoke dischargers are not magnetic. So, uh, let's get on top of the turret a little bit more. This here. Not magnetic. Add on armor is magnetic. Not magnetic. Of course, that's magnetic. See the hatch. This hatch is not magnetic. Except the hinges, again. Same deal. Not magnetic. This hatch is magnetic. Commander's hatch. This is not magnetic, but this is. The hinges are magnetic. Let's check engine deck. Bro, you can attempt it to check engine deck. <sighs> Luckily, we have grip tape. Alright, cap is magnetic. The engine deck is not. That's not magnetic. Rear armor is, side armor is, this is the add-on armor, that's why. This is not magnetic. It sort of is right here, kind of barely, but not here. Let's check engine hatches. Not magnetic, magnetic. Hinges are magnetic. This isn't. So that's basically it. The base hole, some of the hatches, not all, are uh, not magnetic. Wow, the add-on armor is. Well, the add-on armor is. Um, barrel's not. Muzzle brake is. Wheels are not, but the hubs are, or wheels are not, are magnetic, but the hubs aren't. Yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Base hole is not magnetic, but a lot of the external armor is. Hatches are, wheels are, except the hubs. Smoke isn't. It's very interesting. Let's check the, uh, well, give me a second. Let's check the, um, handles. Probably are, right? Yeah. Because they're part of the armor. So that concludes CCVL magnet test. Base hole is probably like aluminum or some other composite or a non-magnetic material. Save weight. And the other materials are like RHA or something. Anyways, try the magnet test at home.